Well, I guess Filch gave up and decided he was hearing things. Probably gonna go back to bed now. Mrs. Horace, I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... Yeah, blah. Let's check the library, my sweet. Of course, I would be wrong. He just stays up all night. Probably never goes to bed. Or he just sleeps in the day, I don't even know. Coast is clear. And... Nice carpet. Oh. Hmm, should I wait for him to get further away? Nah. Okay, it's not... Aha! I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. Well, I've gotten past you before. I'm gonna guess since Mrs. Norris is a cat and that she can hear me walking around from a greater distance than Filch can, that this is gonna be even more difficult. What, you've nothing to say about another bookshelf falling over? Oh, she's way over there, though. I have nothing to worry about. Oh, God damn it! I gotta get out of here now. Not sure if I should jump out or just assume she'll turn around without touching me. The funk was that? Did I jump on her and then bounce on her head a few times? Oh, why do I have to start this far back again? Fuck. I can probably follow him from closer behind, I guess. Uh, I get so impatient sometimes doing the same crap. Let's see if she does that thing again. <laughs> yeah, she does. Oh well. Let's check the library, my sweet. Man, that's a thick fucking wooden door, though. At least this time I'm not going to stand around for several seconds waiting for him to walk further away down the hall. I doubt it works like that in many video games. Aha! I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. Watch how she jumps, though. Just, whoop! She just levitates right off the ground. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. Well, I think this time I know what I should do differently. Sort of. Uh, maybe not, I, I don't even know. She's still up there. Okay. Oh, okay, coming back, so... I guess I'll just wait then. And I'll just follow you like butt stench. Slowly, silently, but potentially deadly. Okay, how could a cat not hear all that grunting that I complained about last episode? What's that noise? Yeah, he's still there, Harry.
Weird. I thought he might react to that. Yes, another save book. Intruder. So you heard it close, but you didn't hear it open? Maybe don't stand next to a place with ambient nature noises that could drown out the subtle noises of a lock clicking open. I don't know if he could get to this room quickly enough, or if I'll find him in the next room. <laughs> What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Eh, should have expected that, actually. This room was adjacent to the previous room, after all. Oh, looky there. It's nearly headless Nick. Hello, Jesus, Harry. fuck, keep your voice Hello, down and don't say my name out loud. Oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut the fucking fuck up already. God damn, Jesus Christ. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, yeah. Do I have to follow this guy around now after all that? If he can see me under an invisibility cloak, then he should have had enough goddamn sense to know I'm trying to sneak around and not talk to me out loud and not to address me by my name like that. God damn it, Nick. What were you thinking? Looks like he's gonna point me in the right direction now. It's the least he could do, so thanks for that at least. What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Ah. Okay, so now I can jump over him safely. Even though I would expect him to be able to see up the cloak and notice a pair of legs flying over him. Intruder! Intruder! In the Forbidden Corridor! Who the fuck are you yelling at? And I thought the Forbidden Corridor was on the third floor near the entrance to the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I'm pretty sure I'm just passing through the library, which, let's assume it's not the restricted section as was portrayed in the book and film, at least in its entirety. It's certainly not the Forbidden Corridor, though. It's not forbidden or a corridor. <sighs> Shit, which way did he go? And has neither Filch nor Mrs. Norris noticed that nearly headless Nick has started floating around near them for the last couple of minutes? Maybe he can turn transparent at will, I don't know. Wow. I know, that mirror is backlit. That's some fancy shit right there. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear. Whoa, where the fuck is your invisibility cloak? Oh, okay, good. Shit, man, there's... Yeah, nothing in the opposite direction as usual. <laughs> Is 
Is that the bookcase Filch went through just now? Yeah, this fucking camera. Oh, okay, I just have to stand far enough away from it. Yay, another save book. I could understand being too far away from something, an object, for a spell to affect it, but you can't even stand too close to it either. Great, now I can't even seem to find the fucking guy. And I keep forgetting that I should be able to just walk up to things like the railings and be able to climb over them automatically instead of attempting to jump them. Only way out of this room is past that gate. It makes an awful racket. You take that side of the room, and I'll take this one. We'll catch you, Mrs. Norris. Intruder! <laughs> I know I say it over and over again, I just love that noise he makes. I'm not even sure if he's coughing or laughing or doing something else entirely. I just, I don't know, it just sounds so weird. Uh, oh god, that was so... Uh. You can barely make those jumps in this game. Okay, now what? What do I do? Hmm. There are some rooms off to the side of this main area. Though, of course, just activate some buttons and I'll be out of here, I hope. If I stand here, they shouldn't be able to see me. <sighs> this fucking camera and mouse control. I know I complain about it a lot, but it really also interferes with the gameplay experience quite a lot. Just... I cannot believe they couldn't make this a little better. Just... I don't... I don't even know. Oh, I'm fucked. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I've run out of shit to say again. Just gotta do this three more times and I'll be through that door. Maybe I don't need to be nearly as cautious hiding myself, I don't know. I guess these pulsing lights aren't going to attract their attention either. Here he comes again. Oh, wait. Wait. The lantern isn't glowing like it's lit, yet it's producing light. You can see a shadow around his feet. And I like how he holds up his lantern in an already lit room. Yeah, walk away, filthy filchy. Could you walk any slower, though? You'd think if you were looking for an intruder, you'd walk a bit more quickly, with a bit... with a sense of urgency. Eh, better wait until he walks around the wooden pillar, I guess. Not gonna risk colliding into him. Now, I literally have my back against the wall, watching him pass by me at an uncomfortably close distance. The fuck did that cat meow like that for? Did Filch step on her tail from ten feet away? Anyways, this fucker's so close to me and he never realizes it. I bet he would be pissed as shit if he learned how many times he had gotten so close to me. All the shithead had to do was stretch out his arms and grab the thin air around him and he might have gotten the cloak. But no. Wait. Actually, they got me twice already, so I should probably shut up about this. I 
Does the Hogwarts castle even need pillars? Can't the ceilings just be supported by more gravity-defying magic? Or is it just an architectural aesthetic preference? I'm gonna go with the latter. Oh, good job, camera. Very nice. Why didn't you guys just stand in front of two of those side rooms to begin with? You're not going to close those doors behind you. Well, unlike your cat, you appear to be very easily distracted. Ah, oh, shit, wrong way. Let's see here now. I should be able to distract the cat, too, with a broken vase. <sighs> Easy as shit. Alright, past the doors. Oh, now what? What's going on? What's gonna... Oh, these two again. Of course I'm gonna follow them. I'm sure the game expects me to. Took off the cloak. Hey Harry, do you have 25 beans for us? You. You aren't surprised That's to see it. me down here with That's you guys in your secret hideout? Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a wizard card for you. What you the fuck it? are you planning to do with these, anyways? Look at those beans. Look where you're keeping them on the ground in a room full of cobwebs and dirt and dust. They're fucking disgusting now. What a waste. Surely you're not planning on eating all these or having other people eat them, right? Oh, come on. I can't go in. Eh, too bad. I know I just said those beans are dirty, but I would have still jumped in them like a pile of raked autumn leaves. Maybe you should put your invisibility cloak back on? Maybe? In the book, the reason you were caught was because you left it up in the tower after dropping off Norbert. What were you thinking, by the way? How do you forget something like that? <laughs> 